terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. No, no, it's it's the end of the world. That's where we are, right? End of the world. So bad, uh, in fact, that the UN is now warning we are in an area, an era of global boiling. That's CBS Weekend News. Happy to pass that along. Global boiling. It is out of control. This summer feels like a page torn from the book of Revelation. Because you know the climate change, right? The cl- climate change, yeah. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is let the Democrats control every aspect of your life. And I do mean every, like today. No more incandescent light bulbs. Nope, nope. Just a forerunner of what is coming when they control your water heater, your washing machine, which the Washington Washing Machine Manufacturers Association warns if the Democrats' new changes for it are put into effect by 2030, as they are scheduled to right now, your washing machine will no longer remove things like E. coli from your clothes. So you might get rashes. I love rashes. How about you? Can you imagine? I said this the other day, having had babies. Babies are sweet, beautiful, but they're also pretty pretty heavily contaminated with a lot of e coli can you imagine going through the cycle with a, with with a with a newborn where you're doing wash all day long you ch- i mean i've seven outfits some days right with a washing machine that does not remove fully e coli can you imagine moms Your moms are sitting in their cars going yeah and dads you were sitting there too if you did a lot of the changing and the washing oh, it's going to be rashes everywhere i can't imagine living through diaper rash with a washing machine that doesn't fully remove e coli but climate change is what we got to do. Climate change. We got to get no uh, hope of surviving. Or do we? Or do we? John Kerry. Folks, this greatest hits just came back. Climate czar John Kerry, who at this point, there is no way he can believe the thing. He can be even believing the things he says. This is him in 2009 saying that we have. Five years until the first ice-free Arctic summer. Okay, that would have been 2014. Here's John Kerry. Okay, and I'm having one of these days where the audio is locked up, but that's okay. We'll go back and get it again. Uh, Okay. No big deal. I know we can do this. Let's see if we can get this to work. Here we go. Sea ice, which is melting at a rate that the Arctic Ocean now increasingly is exposed. In five years, scientists predict we will have the first ice-free Arctic summer. Uh Uh-huh. You know when the uh, uh, Arctic ice sheet hit a record high for density? You want to know when that was? I'll give you a hint. 2022. It happened last year. It happened last year. So, I mean, John Kerry, as concerned as he is about all of this, I mean, you would think he'd know that, right? There is no way at this point, if he, even if he believed this stuff back then, that he believes it now. I mean, he, he can't possibly believe it now. 22 year, 20. I'm sorry, 2022, all time recorded. We've only been keeping records for like 100 years, so who knows? But according to our records, thickest it's ever been. He said it will be gone by 2014. But folks, you need to pay attention to what this guy is doing and what they're saying. Because for the first time, John Kerry just admitted that the only way we can reach our net zero climate control um, goal of net zero emissions. The only way we're gonna need the destruction of the farming industry. Oh, wait, don't they make food? Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.